When I was a child, I was almost every day in nature. I was born in the western part of Germany in a very, very small village. I brought home wild pets. I strolled around in the forest. I wanted to become a marine biologist. I could have told the name of every plant and every animal. Now I have forgotten them. I blame being an adult. As an adult, we want to make choices. Choices about personal matters, relationships, friends, family, financial and economic choices too. We want these choices to be rational. How we do this? We use markets to understand whether these choices are good or bad. Markets are the places where we gather. But this rationality, this adult quest for apparent rationality has its cost. Markets are not perfect. Financial markets are getting it sometimes wrong, badly wrong, especially on social and environmental issues. Polluters not paying for the damage. Externalities is just one example. But let us step back for a moment and think about what markets really do. For a company, market prices measure the current and the future revenue of the company. Implicitly, the value of the assets of the company, the machinery which generates these revenues. But for poor old nature, the markets are not interested in the future. Markets are pricing a dead animal or plant for just one thing. What we can strip from it, that, right now. Markets are not interested in what nature could have provided in future, simply left alive. It's natural capital, it's systemic value. The difference between price and value is vast. An average sized whale has a price at the market of 30,000 US dollar. Its systemic value in habitats, carbon capturing, tourism, simply left alive would be 3 million US dollar. 100 times as much. The difference is a market failure. This market failure means we are destroying natural capital. We destroy the natural machine which sustains us, which output we need as an input to satisfy our demand. If a firm, a company would break a machine, it would go straight in, fix it, because a broken machine could break the company too. But we see nature, the world we are living in, as a grocery store, where we go in, take what we want, pay the price at the sticker, and don't worry if the shelf is empty, it will be full soon again. We forget that the demand we have is highly dependent on nature. Construction, food, agriculture, everything what we get is dependent on nature. And these three sectors have more than the size of double of the German gross domestic product. But even in sectors where the business model is not directly linked to nature, they are dependent on nature through their value chains. Pharmaceuticals, chemicals, food, lifestyle, transport. How do we fix 
this problem. We go back to the beginning, to economics. My friends and family are telling me economics is boring, but economics is beyond of being boring. So sometimes I also slept maybe in the university and thought, oh my God, economics is boring, but used right, economics can help us answering the biggest questions. But economics must be used as a tool, not as an end itself, not as a goal. Use economics wrong, the result will be bad. Like using a hammer for eating a sausage. Economics can help us understand the value of nature, what it means for our survival. Economics reminds us that economic decision comes with responsibility too. The philosophers are got there first. Sartre said once, man is condemned to be free. Once thrown in the world, he has responsible for everything he does. Let's put responsibility first. Responsibility for our decision, for our world we are living in, we are dependent on. Let's do it fast, as time is running out. Let's make a conceptual leap, system change, developing a nature-compliant economic model. Kant, one of the great economists, said, The difficulties lays not in developing new ideas, as in escaping old ones. There's an escape route. The escape route is agreeing on how to use economics to value nature, its systemic value. To get markets using it in natural accounting models to provide the right incentives for governments, firms, and ourselves to change the way how we live, how we make our rational choices. There is no better place than Berlin talking about this. 200 years ago, Alexander von Humboldt already said, we are embedded in nature. Now I said at the beginning in life, We always need to make choices. Let's make one choice now. To see like a child the world, its wonder, its beauty, to appreciate its value, not its price. Use economics to do this, to do it right. This is rational right now.